Hello there everyone, and welcome to the 23rd episode of TPL Response Season 3. And this is the final episode of TPL Response Season 3. Today is March 16, 2024. And yes, this response is going to be on another one of those stupid-ass rant videos about me. Created by Moonstone the YouTuber guy. And yes, I know I was going to do a response to see Dub the Animator to K10's rant on me. But I have delayed it till TPL response season for episode 3. Oh, and before we start this final response for season 3, I just want to let you know that in this response video, I am portraying as Despina Papa Michel, a tennis player from Preveza, Greece. So without further ado, let us now begin this final response for season 3 in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Hello people, Moonstone the YouTuber guy is back for another rant video. Now, today's rant is, gonna be on the user who's a biggest defender of Foxy the Fox 110, which will be, the Panther Lover. And to everyone who likes him, thoughts handled. But don't please bash my opinion on him, because it's just my opinion. And, I'm not trying to bashing everybody's opinions, it's just the advice and the criticism. Well, it is a very good thing that you didn't bash their opinions on me by using either the cut ties with user term or the don't trust this user term because people have rights to defend and trust me whenever they like to. Anyways, let's get started. So, apparently, the panther lover has gone too far the worst users ever met in the entire planet who's a biggest defender of Foxy the Fox 110. Well, I have the rights to be a Foxy the Fox 110 defender because I defend her from her hated users that make up lies about her and even slandering her too. Let me tell you the reasons on why this user should include to be sucked in my opinion. 1. To be begin with like I said, he is a biggest defender of Foxy the Fox 110 because he does some commentaries out of the people's commentaries out of Foxy. Well. That is because that those users keep on making poor lies about her. 2. He claims that commentaries, reacts, and responses are not the same thing when it actually is obviously. Bullshit! 3. He claims that telling people to handle trolling is opinion bashing when it's not. <laughs> Dude, I never said that telling people to handle trolling is opinion bashing because... Back when I didn't handle trolling, I thought that the people who forced me to handle trolling was opinion forcing. But now I know that that is not opinion forcing. The proof is going to be in the Alaska 2's video. 4. Speaking of the previous reason, he claims that trolling is cyberbullying when it's not. Well, that was back in April 2023 that I said that trolling counts as cyberbullying and... I think that that thing I did was almost like 11 months ago, which was on the 27th. And in April 27, 2024, it would be marked one year. So, that thing I said was definitely from the past, which was 2023. And this proves that you brought up my past from April 2023. Because I don't think that trolling is cyberbullying anymore. 5. He can't handle people speaking true facts about him. Well, that's because that they are not speaking true facts about me. They are actually speaking lies about me. 7. Speaking of the another previous reason, he can't handle trolling. Dude, I am now already handling trolling for frick's sake. One example is that he exposes people who stealing his profile picture, which is only meant from trolling. And this proves that he is a the meme master's past self from 2022. Bro, if you don't like opinion bashers, then just ignore them from your channel. 9. He uses the wrong context term in the wrong context. Um, actually sir, I use that term in the right context. Not in the wrong context. Because there are some people who use the word fanboy, simp, stan, and some others in the wrong context. Oh, and AK to the TPL hater, if you are watching this, don't you dare even think about editing this part of where you replace my part saying, um, actually sir, 
I use that term in the right context. Not in the wrong context to um, actually sir, I use that term in the wrong context. Not in the right context, because if you do that, then I will fix that stupid ass issue of yours. One example is that Jay and Shadow uses pedophile in the wrong context because Foxy the Fox 110 is a pedophile, a GK using Dick Ryder in the wrong context for him because he likes Foxy, Green JG and Lee using slandering in the wrong context for him, and Foxy because him and her is not slandering him, and me using opinion bashing in the wrong context because he made a rant out of the J Kaisers. Hate base just for its uh, opinion bashing, yet he does the same thing, and me and buddies are using terms such as fanboy, white knight, hypocrite, simp, stalker, begging, conclusion jumping, opinion basher, man child, fan brat, pedophile, dick writer, joke, advice. Dude, I never told that people that they were using the words joke and advice in the wrong context. 10. He is a hypocrite. Here are some examples. He claims that Alaska 2 overused clips, yet he overused clips himself clips himself. Well, I am now only using the victorious clips and sometimes unlike what I used to do back in September 2023. He hates PTBF 2002 for raging over people bashing opinions when he does the same thing. He claims that Alaska 2 and Frankie Cun can't handle the truth, yet he can't handle the truth himself. Walter! He claims that we're using terms in the wrong context, yet he uses opinion basher and opinion forcer in the wrong context. Walter! And finally, he claims he is not a white knight out of Foxy the Fox 110. Yet he does some commentaries out of the people's commentaries out of Foxy. Dude, just because I do responses on people that hate Foxy the Fox 110, even when I'm not a white knight of her, does not prove that I am a hypocrite because of that. And that's why that the panther lover is a hypocrite. 11. He tells me that I'm cancel culturing Foxy the Fox 110 because I told her to leave the internet, which he doesn't know how the cancel culture means. 12. He is a heir in the Green Pink Steam 2009 2.0. One example is that he told people that the old and overused term proves that we don't support freedom of speech. Well, according to Foxy the Fox 110, that is absolutely true. Whenever the person uses the old and overused term, that proves that they don't support freedom of speech. And how does that make me an heir in the GPS 2009 hater to point zero, even though I hate that user? When I was even that. Exactly. Even though Aaron is a dead topic, but still. 13. Whenever Alaska 2 using George Jetson bullshit clip, he does the interrupt it. Really, dude? 14. Speaking of the 10th reason, he claims that Alaska 2 bringing up his past, yet he brings up Jason's past back in a couple of months ago, showing us hypocrisy again. Oh my frickin' Jesus frickin' Christ. I have literally explained this for like for frickin' times in a row. And now this is my fifth goddamn time I have to say this again. And again. I did not realize that those videos that Jason made was from the past. I just couldn't remember perfectly. My autistic remembrances are not that good sometimes. Now, don't you or any other users who makes a rant on me make me say this again. 15. Whenever he does commentaries, he sometimes does scary logos like the video game. Videos Incorporated 2010 and etc. To let you know, I was thinking to add a new scary logo in the future, like the Dark Fall Productions logo which looks like this. And he tries to put these logos to jump scare Alaska 2, the Federal Express fan 2024 and the couple users. Yeah, and to me. It's kind of funny to hear those stupid dumbasses scream like crazy. Thank God that he puts the BND of Doom logo just to getting his payback. 
Besides, if only viewers saw these logos and got scared of it, then they will get nightmares and not going to sleep. Well, it would be better watching them at daytime. 17. He sometimes speeding up some important parts and even cutting them out, making him a conclusion jumper. Bruh! Just because I speed up parts and cut out parts of their videos doesn't count as conclusion jumping. Plus, you're just using the word conclusion jumping in the wrong context. Because, according to the Google Dictionary, jumping into conclusions means to make a hasty judgment before learning or considering all the facts. So yeah, that's what that word means. Not about the one where I speed up and cut out parts of the videos. I suggest you research that word in the Google Dictionary, so you will see what I mean by that. 20. He thinks that opinions and reasons are not the same thing when they are, but including the rants and salutes. 21. He claims that they don't trust him or her term as a opinion bashing, yet he used it on his rant on Jay and Shadow and Adrian, and the content review on the cool guy Mario yes cat Mario no, which even though I now starting to neutral to the cool guy Mario yes cat Mario no for now on. Well, I was just using that term as an advice to my fans. 22. He takes the user by name of the worldwide of Happy Meal way to the extreme. Dude. I do not take the worldwide of Happy Meal way to the extreme. All I do was to try to teach him a strict lesson to never mess with me. When he just ignore him. Nope. Just like me. And 23. He is a main reason on why the Foxy the Fox 110 is getting worse than before in 2023. End of rant. The next rant is gonna be on the Liam rapper Aka Esweldo the Hedgehog. Goodbye, Ev. Ugh. Screw this stupid rant. Because there were some poor reasons on why he doesn't like me in his opinion. So anyways, this is the end of the final episode of TPL Response Season 3. And this means, I will be starting my new response series tomorrow. And that is, TPL Response Season 4. So anyways, I'll see you all in the new season.